to TechFab YouTube channel. So today in this video I will guide you with .nobu virus and I will help you to remove this virus from the computer and I will tell you some of the ways to recover the encrypted data as there is no official decryptor for this yet because this is the new virus which is spreading from uh, after LISP and WEUI and so there is no decryptor for that but we do have some of the data recovery software which you can use. So uh, this extension belongs from Stop DJVU family and it's encrypting your data either with the online key or offline key and you will not be able to open any kind of your file and so before I can go further I want to share some of the important points with you so that you need to keep all those in mind once you will get this ransomware attack uh, once you will get the ransomware attack you need to turn off your internet connection immediately so that the attacker cannot get access on your computer and your computer will be more secure if you are not get connected to the internet and so you do not need to pay any ransom to the attacker as paying ransom to the attacker is illegal and there is no guarantee that uh, they will decrypt your data or they can recover your data after you are uh, paying ransom to them and in some of the countries it's illegal to pay ransom to the uh, attacker now the most cause is uh, the most cause of those attacks are because you are trying to download any cracks from any unauthorized sites or unknown sites so this is the main cause you are getting the ransomware from so avoid visiting any unknown websites and uh, don't take heed to the spam comments so you will find lot of comments on the youtube channels that this group has decrypted my data don't uh, pay heed to them and don't pay any penny to anybody now let's get stra uh, straight to the video and uh, I, uh, my suggestion will be to subscribe my channel so that we are working on those ransomware attacks and hopefully we will get back with the official decryptor very soon on that and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that once we will upload the new video for that you will get the notification and hopefully it will help you further now a uh, first important thing which you need to perform is you need to check your host file of your computer to make sure that if it contains any unknown IP addresses there if it contains that means uh, it acts as a key logger of the computer so attacker can uh, uh, attacker can done each and everything they can do each and everything on your computer they can store your personal information and they can do whether they want and so my suggestion will be to remove those IP addresses if you have so now let's get started how can you do that uh, you need to go on to the search bar and type notepad note notepad and then you need to right click on that and run it as administrator and then click ok after that uh, you need to click on file and click on open now you need to follow the directory you need to click on your computer and then go onto the C drive and scroll down a bit and you will find a folder called windows click there and after that you will find one more folder called system32 so you need to click on system32 folder there and then you need to click on uh, drivers folder and after that you need to click on etc and then click here and click on all files now this is the host file click there and after that click on show folder so now these all IP addresses are your IP addresses you don't need to do anything on those IP addresses and you will find lot of IP addresses after that you need to select them all and you need to select after selecting those and you need to delete them all so after you are deleting the IP addresses just click on file and click on save so this is the first step which you need to perform and uh, after that uh, you can uh, use your internet as if you don't have any IP unknown IP address in the host file so you can use the internet on your computer and after that what you need to do is you need to go on to the task manager so this is the optional step uh, to check if there is any unknown uh, if there is any unknown software or any application uh, on the startup so go on to the startup and check if there is any unknown software uh, which has been enabled on the startup once your computer will be uh, restarted so they are going to open and uh, you can uh, it can perform very computer really slow and after that so you need to check these and if there is any software you need to disable those all and once you perform this uh, function and after that what you need to do is uh, you need to scan your computer with the legitimate antivirus software so my recommendation will be not to use any free version or any cracked version so that software can cause more damage on your computer my suggestion will be if you can buy a software a uh, uh, software or any other software that's uh, that perfectly fines for you so in my case I'm going to use one of the software and you can buy it f as well so it will only cost to you approximately let me check here so you need to buy the software to scan your computer so almost it will cost you 550 rup Indian rupees and it will the validity is one year and uh, it, you will not get any CD for that so you will receive some codes and uh, you will receive each and everything on email within two hours 
so uh, after scanning the computer what you need to do is uh, now we will go to the recovery part uh, first of all what you need to do is you need to I will put the link in the description for that software if you need to buy it you can buy it and after that what we can do is we will check our restore point if our computer has any restore point so we can get back our data uh, if uh, we have any restore point uh, of the previous date on your computer so how you can do that is uh, just click on the search bar once again and type rstrui.exe then click there and after that here we go so it's taking uh, some time it will take and after that click on next now you will find it will find some of the dates so you need to check uh, for example if your computer was doing good on that date before the attack you need to select that date and then you need to select next and after that you need to click finish so if you have any restore point on your computer this will be the best and the easy option to recover your data now uh, if you don't have any restore point what you can do is you need to identify whether your encryption method is online or offline so if your uh, personal id in the readme file is ending with dot t1 this is uh, the offline id and you can decrypt that data very easily by going to the website uh, i will let you know uh, you can just google uh, stop djvu decryptor as i told you earlier that this virus belongs from stop djvu and then you can uh, download the decryptor for the offline id and you can download it and then you can use it for free so I'm just downloading it but it will only work for uh, offline IDs so you can use it and after that let me have a look you need to click on yes and then click OK and it so here we go so now you need to select a separate drive where your, where your data is and then you need to add a folder or a file and after that you need to click on decrypt so if it's decrypting then that's fine you are good to go if not then you need to follow our further process now the second software which we are going to use is and this is called photo rack test disk i will put the link in the description so you need to click on the link and you need to download the software and i already downloaded that software so here is the software test disk and you need to extract that uh, just click uh, you need to click on this and then extract here and you will get this folder and after that you need to open the extracted folder just scroll down a bit and you will find one more folder called QP photo rack underscore Corwin. you need to click on that and it will take some time now so the software will open and it uh, the interface will be like that so you need to click on whole drive and after that you need to click on file formats then click on reset and uh, for example if you want to recover your uh, image files you just need to uh, put JPG and uh, you can put PNG for example so click there and after that click OK and then you need to click on browse and then you need to select a folder where you want to save the recovered data for example I will uh, save it in system called 32 so after that you need to click on search so now it will take some time and have a look onto the destination folder uh, if it's uh, it, if it's recovering any of your data so it will take some time and after that you can recover some of the images with this method so this is the second method which you can use uh, the last one which we have at the moment is Wondershare recover it this is the paid software but uh, I have a video where you can find how to use it free I will put the link in the description so you can check it out that this is the ultimate version so you can use it as well and once you will download this software and after that uh, you can recover your deleted files recycle bin files formatted disk hard drive and there will be one more option here all round data recovery uh, you can click there and you can select your drive and then you can start a recovery so if it could work but uh, there is no guarantee that the you, you can recover your data uh, by applying those steps as I told you earlier that there is no decryptor for those IDs at the moment and hopefully we will get back to you very soon with the solution so my request will be to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that once we will upload the video you will get the notification very soon so I will see you in the next video till then goodbye